With the market for battery electric vehicles changing almost daily, manufacturers are hurrying to get theirs to market as soon as possible. With at least 39 varieties of electric crossovers and SUVs available, there is probably one for everyone's likes. So when the market gets saturated, where do you start? Available features and luxury options are for sure. Price is also a big one, as is the range. Much as we don't like to admit, even with 250 mile plus range, anxiety is still a thing with the EV. One thing overlooked, it seems, is the warranty. With the Kia EV6, you get a great EV and a great price, and not to be outdone, one of the best warranties for any car, EV or not. The EV6 is backed by a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, 5-year, 60,000-mile basic warranty with 24-hour roadside assistance, 5-year, 100,000-mile anti-perforation warranty, and best of all, the 10-year, 100,000-mile electric vehicle powertrain warranty. Hey everyone, in today's in-depth review, we are taking a look at the brand new 2022 Kia EV6. This EV6 is a mid-level wind trim level. It is all-wheel drive, features dual motors. It is painted in interstellar gray metallic and features the black vegan perforated leather interior. Pricing is shown on screen and a full options list is in the description box below. This will be a full in-depth review where we'll cover the exterior, the interior, powertrain, and cargo capacities. Alrighty, and while standard EV6s are single motor front wheel drive configured, our EV6 features a dual motor E all-wheel drive system and features front and rear permanent magnet AC synchronous electric motors. Front motor is a 74 kilowatt 99 horsepower unit while the one in the rear is a 165 kilowatt 221 horsepower unit. Total combined output is 320 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. The EV6 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, 0 to 100 miles per hour in 12.8 seconds, and the quarter mile in 13.3 seconds at 102 miles per hour. Its top speed is limited to 118 miles per hour. Alright, since the EV6 is a battery electric vehicle, it uses a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery in lieu of a fuel tank. It features ultra fast 800 volts DC charging and consumes 32 kilowatt hours per 100 miles driven. It has an estimated total driving range of around 310 miles and its EPA fuel economy equivalents are 119 or 160 miles per gallon in the city, 94 miles per gallon on the highway, and 105 miles per gallon combined. Alrighty, and the sole available transmission in the EV6 is not a transmission, but rather a motion control unit. It is Kia's shift by wire, direct drive single speed unit. It has a 10.65 to 1 axle ratio. It also has progressive regenerative braking by using these shift paddles here on the back of the steering wheel. You can increase and decrease your regen braking. And all EV6s have access to three drive modes by pressing this button here on the bottom of the steering wheel. Your display will change and you have normal or you have eco, normal, and sport mode. And on all wheel drive vehicles, by pressing and holding the drive mode selector, you gain access to a fourth mode, which is snow mode. Placing the vehicle in park by hitting the button here. All right, taking a look around the rear of the EV6. Actually, my more favorite view of the vehicle, generally not the case in most car reviews, 
but the rear end styling has a really almost 80s concept car look to it has this really narrow up sweeping red led segmented tail light near the top part of the car coming down you have this diamond textured satin silver trim flows into the tailgate got the rear spoiler on the rear glass very sharply raked back hatch gloss piano black blends nicely with the tinted glass as you can see you have flush door handles gloss black wheel arches obviously no exhaust pipes because it's all electric new kia badge and the ev6 badge back here and your taillights run the entire length and width of the car charge door here for the batteries as we walk along the profile of the ev6 i'm not really 100 percent sure if this is replacing the outgoing nero and if it is it is a dramatic departure from the outgoing model even though it is labeled as a crossover utility vehicle it is a much much more aerodynamic version of a cuv rather more of a tall station wagon Overall, I think the appearance in this profile is actually a very good looking vehicle and overall it's a good looking vehicle. Steering is electrically assisted variable rate, variable speed sensitive rack and pinion with 2.67 turns locked to lock at a 19.1 foot turning radius. Wheels are 19 by a 7.5 inch gloss black painted aluminum and shot in 235 55 R19 Kumo Grugen HP 71 all season tires. Brakes are assisted by ABS, electronic brake force distribution, forward collision warning with car, cyclist, pedestrian detection, junction turning detection, and blind spot collision avoidance. They can haul the EV6 from 70 miles per hour to zero in 169 feet. Taking a look at the front of the EV6, kind of like the rear styling a little bit better, although the front is very dramatic. It does have what Kia calls the digital tiger shark nose. Side view mirrors do have turn repeaters. The piano black wheel archers continue down here. You do have the top portion of the white LED driving light turns in amber for your turn indicator. Flows nicely into the grille design and meets to the bottom half of the driving light. And of course you do have automatic LED headlamps. Very aggressive lower intakes down here. Alrighty, and believe it or not, this vehicle does have remote start as standard equipment. Very easy to use. On the detonator key fob, just press the lock button here. Then press and hold the remote start button on the key fob. What that does basically, it conditions the batteries, turns on the climate control systems and all that kind of thing. Nothing is actually running, however, because there's no engine to run. But it is pretty much ready to drive as soon as you get in. And before we get inside, let's take a quick look at that key. Pretty much standard Kia detonator style key fob fare. Does have the new logo, satin silver trim. It's a plastic body. On the face, you have the remote start button as, state, as stated before. Then you have your forward and reverse parking assist. On the side, you have your lock, unlock, lift gate, and your panic alarm. And of course, this does use Kia's smart key access system and operation is easy. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To lock, simply approach the handles. You'll see this little rectangular indention here. Just press those. It'll lock the vehicle. If you'd like to unlock it, just press that again. To open the vehicle, simply locate this indention here at the leading edge pull it out and then it acts as a handle
And here we are inside the EV6. All new materials, a new design for 2022 because it is a new vehicle. Taking a look at the door panels here, very nice attention to detail, very high quality. You got this soft vinyl trim here, padding, graphite accents, satin silver accents, satin silver door poles. You have two driver memory here, power fold away mirrors, power windows and power door locks, power lockout, some storage and a bottle holder. The premium 14 speaker Meridian sound, surround sound system. And on the driver's side instrument panel, you have your instrument panel brightness and dim, your fuel door or your uh, battery charge port release, lift gate release, parking brake, stability control, fuse access here, front hood release here. Nice premium embroidered floor mats. A nice open floating console with open storage, USB ports, 12 volt power point, up here we do have a leather wrap tilt and telescoping steering wheel eight-way power driver and passenger seat driver seat has two-way adjustable lumbar support and let's go ahead and take a look at the seats seats are very comfortable they're very supportive kia calls it the giga steel construction i guess it's the lightest steel that they have yet and it's also one of the strongest as you can see it actually kind of looks like a volvo seat or maybe even a lincoln perfect position seat but it is wrapped in this really nice vinyl it's a premium what they call vegan leather it feels like leather but it's not it's perforated has accent stitching and overall it's very comfortable Alrighty, here we are inside the EV6, and the first thing you'll notice is this large instrument panel here. 24.6 inches of panoramic display. Each screen is 12.3 inches. That is a full capacitive touchscreen. This one is not. Leather wrap, two spoke steering wheel. The electrically assisted power steering, of course. Has this nice silver accent stripe going all the way down the lower half of the steering wheel. You have the new Kia badge here. You have piano black trim on the buttons. And a real quick overview. Over here on the left hand side, we have our cruise control buttons here. We also got our play and pause. Uh, you can seek and scan, okay, and select your menus. Distance radar, active steering assist, trip menus. This paddle here is on a shift paddle. It actually increases your uh, progressive region. And of course you have your drive mode select. And of course we have our multifunction control here for automatic headlamps, high beam selection, and of course our turn indicators. And speaking of the turn indicators, just like any Kia, Hyundai, or Genesis vehicle, within the direction of your indication, you do have a blind spot assist camera very very handy feature over here on the right hand side we have our various radio modes and selections here favorite voice command phone controls and volume controls this shift paddle here not a shift paddle but is the region braking for minimizing and then of course we do have our wiper controls instrument cluster a little bit uh, different departure from other Kias. It's a little bit different looking in the fact that it is a, an electric vehicle, so the display is going to be a little bit different. But overall, it's a very easy to read uh, display. Very nice, crisp, clear graphics in a three-dimensional setting. By changing your different displays, you can hit this here and changing your different menus. Is this button here up and down, selects the different pages, and of course, OK selects your selection. Just various different, it's not very reconfigurable, but it's a very uh, easy to read display. All right, let's pan over the top of the dash. I like this textured material here. Kind of frames the panorama displays. Looks really, really good. It is curved as well. And 
And taking a look at this screen here, another 12.3 inch display it is a split screen. You're able to actually change what you want or you can go full screen here by pressing these buttons here you're able to swipe through what you want you have the map there Sirius XM or audio anything like that you can go full screen here this is your EV range here it shows your battery condition the nearest charge port and your distance by pressing the home button it's a very basic or a very familiar Kia we'll go full screen map here as you can see, pinch to zoom, everything works very, very well. And by placing the vehicle in reverse, does activate our cameras. It does have active guidance lines on all camera views. You can have forward and reverse cameras. Blind spot cameras there. Wide view camera. And of course, one of the coolest ones here is the actual adaptive 360 degree surround view camera. And then placing the vehicle in park. Takes those cameras away. Moving down, you got two climate control vents. You've got your four-way flashers here. And down below, we have our climate controls. It's a very interesting little display here. Dual zone climates over here for the driver and passenger. Set your auto climate. You have your front and rear defrosters, recirculation. And of course, we have all of our um, climate control systems. You can also set driver only. Saves a little bit of your energy. AC, fan speed here. Panel distribution modes here. Your heating, and you can sync driver and passenger. Now, a really cool thing about this is you'll see this little button here, fan to nav. So it's not really navigation, but when you press that, it actually shows your uh, hot buttons. So you go map, navigation, your favorite menu, seek, track, radio, media, and setup, all by flipping that button there. All right, moving here. At the top of the console, we have our heated and ventilated seats and heated steering wheel for the driver and passenger. This is our push to start. Gear selector. You can access your cameras at any time here. You have auto hold feature and your parking sensor power switch. Here is a wireless charging mat, cup holders, padded armrest opens up to reveal storage. Overall, the interior of the EV6 is very well thought out. It's a very comfortable and very quiet environment. Looking overhead, we have an automatic dimming rearview mirror. We have our Kia Connect and emergency services buttons here. We have our touch sensitive lighting, dome override or dome light, and our dome override here. Overhead, of course, we do have sun visors. They are padded vinyl. They do feature vanity mirrors and overhead illumination. And of course, the sun visors do swing out and they slide out on extension rails. And of course, overhead, you have dampened overhead assist handles and high adjustable seat belts. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat now. Same flush door handles, so the operation is the exact same. Door panels are about the same as the front in style. Padded vinyl, graphite and satin silver trim. Of course, the same Meridian surround sound speaker covers, bottle holders, and this can also double as some storage, but is your grab handle. Rear seat passengers also have their own climate control vents here in the B pillars. And the rear seats do seat three across in a 60-40 split fold and reclining seat. Height adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas and of course three point belts to go with it. 
The same perforated vegan leather is back here as well. Although these seats back here are not heated. You do have a fold down center armrest. It does feature cup holders and this slides open. That could double as either a tissue or storage. Overhead we do have dampened assist handles, overhead reading lights. We've also got USB type C charge ports in the seat backs. No climate controls back here, but there are seat bag mat pockets. And one really nice thing is this load flat floor. Now, if you want to fold the seats, that's very easy. Locating this little lever at the base of the seat, lift up on that, and the seat will fold flat and even with the rear cargo area. All right, there are several ways you can open the lift gate. The first way is this button uh, cluster here on the driver's side instrument panel. Just press and hold that button there. And low down to the right of this camera, there's a membrane switch here. You can press that and it'll automatically open up. You can also press and hold the key fob button here, or you can just use the key fob and approach the lift gate and it opens up automatically. And as you can see, despite the steeply raked lift gate area, it is a nice flat load floor. You do have some minimal wheelhouse intrusion, but overall it's a nice flat floor. 12 volt power point back here, LED lighting, speakers, you have tie down hooks, your top tethers for your uh, child seats are back here. You've also got your tire mobility kit and your charge ports uh, stuff. You've also got the ability to fold the seats down. Now they're just a manually folding seat so they don't raise back up, but it, the convenient access is back here for your left and right seat backs. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, lower the seat real quick. As you can see, they can be lowered independently of each other. And that does increase your cargo capacity. Of note though, as you can see here, it is a very steeply designed rear hatch, so load height is impeded, but you still have the depth. Now, if you wanna close your lift gate, just press this button here. 
and it will close automatically. All right, we'll say you want a little bit more secure storage. Well, there's one other trick up its sleeve and you might be asking, what in the world are you doing popping the hood? We've already looked up there and there's a motor up there. Well, as it would turn out, that motor is actually underneath the cover where it says EV, there's actually a latch here. Lift that up and look at that. You have a small amount of concealed storage up here that no one would ever think to look in. To be outdone, it's also illuminated. Now you do have access to your motor terminals. You've also got access to your positive and negative battery cables. These little mats are actually rubber and they are removable for easy cleanup. It's not very deep, but it is another storage area inside the car as an added convenience. Alrighty, and this does conclude our in-depth walk around look at the brand new 2022 Kia EV6 Wind dual motor all wheel drive. If you liked the review and found it informative, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews. And of course, our Instagram channel at brinsoj one And of course, as always, thanks for watching.